Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Air Airships <laughs> Conquer the Skies, <laughs> episode number 6 now I think. Oh, and there's the music coming in, so that's good. So what do we have going on here? We are going to focus our efforts on taking out these colored stealers, or you know, color thieves. And once we can get this whole area, I think we'll be pretty isolated from attack. I can imagine that some of these cities right here might need to be isolated. We're gonna have to take out this Pirate King eventually. I mean, we just happen to be lucky enough to not only spawn in the middle, but spawn right next to these pirates. And they are a problem which will continue to get worse unless we uh, go deal with them. So we'll have to eventually scrounge up some forces to go take care of that. But in the meantime, I think that we finally settled into <laughs> a positive flow, a positive uh, derivative. We're slowly making progress. We're taking land and not losing it, or at least we're taking land, more land than we're losing. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Anyway, we'll s I, I I'm actually have been thinking about it, and even if we don't build no more ships immediately, we do have four very capable, wait, four or five. One, two, Three, four, five. Yeah, so we have five pretty capable aircraft. I mean, the or airships. The one Grenadier is, you know, not the most amazing ship at this point. She's outlived her usefulness, I would say. But what should we go for next? Speltford? Yeah, I think Speltford. Okay, so let's just go ahead and keep advancing and move on. We have this big battle coming up at Tuscadin. I don't know how that's going to go, but I think we're going to get this battle first. We are. And we can see how this combination continues to work out. I think it's still working out fine. I think what I want to do is actually kind of reverse. Even though this is a little bit weird, I want to do this way. Let the cannon one take more shots first. And then... Ah, victory. Okay, well, that works. In that case, just back up. <laughs> because we're going to be victorious. Okay, good. Uh, that was a lot easier than I thought. And somewhere up there, it's pillaging. Okay, probably pillaging. Oh my god, it's at four. Well, let's raid it. I don't care. And here's the big fight. Looks like our second didn't get there in time. So we're mostly going to be relying on our bomber to do... I mean, the good news is... Okay, the, so firing from left to right will be less accurate. That's also good news. Now, I only see four. I'm not crazy, right? There's no fifth ship anywhere. There's still a lot to take care of, so we'll have to be aggressive about moving forward. And I would also say we're going to um, do aimed fire as soon as I get a chance, because we just don't have enough ammunition to take all of these guys out unless we're being very careful about this so whole bridge already well that's fine and dandy isn't it Move forward a little more okay and I think we'll be okay about that uh, with this one I mean just we need our bombers to do their work they can't win this battle because they can't get high enough, basically, as long as... I mean, if they spread far enough out, they probably can. If they put one on each side, I think that they could actually um, hit us from one side or the other. But I'm imagining that we will be able to do enough damage to prevent that from ever happening. Some good hits here. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I don't know if those are bigger cannons or not. can't tell. We don't want to go too far forward because of the threat of being attacked from the back. These cannons are going to just punch big old holes in us. But let's try to knock these out one at a time. And this one can probably, die. one of our towers can probably take out one of these guys. So let's see if that's the case or not. I think this guy's actually stuck on this. And, oh wow, they are firing at us. Okay. So we're going to have to move forward more. But then they're also getting shot at, so yeah, this is interesting. And we're about to s destroy this airship. Let's continue to move forward, hopefully eventually out of the 
line of fire. In fact, what we could do is just push all the way back. Uh, you know what? That's not a good idea. Oh, they surrendered. Okay, well, the best possible result. I think that that doesn't... The one disadvantage of that is that... Oh, it's not even damaged. Oh, well, my goodness. That's fantastic. So we'll let these two pair up, and you know what? It's time to turn the tables on these color imposters. Uh, so we should invade that, I guess. Whoa, 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 who is invading? Who did I click? No, you move there. Should we intercept? Yes, actually we will. So let me just get these guys to move here. I don't see their fleet, they're way up there. I think we, yeah, we can, wait, did I just send them to curb? No, don't go to curb. Let's pretend to, let's move to here and then move to Kodair and actually take Arkdom. And probably we can take Stenix too. We just need a launch. Let's get this guy up there. Yeah, we'll, we'll have them converge at Subtle Creek and then subtly take over Stenix with the three of those. That should be no problem. And yeah, let's harass these guys as much as possible with the Bombardiers, which are just superior. I mean, until they have better ships, it's really their own fault. Okay, meet, meet, good. Intercept. And we have you, you're going, and general takeover, that's good. Didn't we have something else I took over that I needed to defend? Okay, we have two here, it's just not enough. Let's just get three, I mean, come on, it only makes sense. I think it only makes sense to protect something which is giving us a huge amount of income, 92, so. What is going on? Can you just invade? Like what? Click to intercept. Yes, please, we will intercept. It looks like we surely will. In the meantime, let's pretend to invade that. They will fall, f they've taken the bait. Okay. Can we fight those guys? Got them. All right, so this will be a very interesting battle, I think, I suspect. Let's get high. <laughs> Let's get high. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably not what I wanted to say exactly. Move forward. And I don't want, I no longer want uh, to just fire slowly. Let's fire quickly. And what is engaging us? Do they have, they do have some kind of, no, that's my rifle engaging them. Okay, so let's make sure that we're pursuing that one. And pursuing that one. They can do this. We're just gonna have to rely on hopefully killing them before they kill us. This is very difficult to manage. It's follow action, zooms out a little bit more, that's good. So that one's fine. don't want to follow the action anymore. I'll just have to manually do this. Ugh. So tough just because we have... Uh, let's go to outside view. Yeah, we're taking a few hits. No two ways about that. Oh god, this is just brutal. We can flee at any time though. So as long as we can knock one down, I'll be happy to flee and get out of here. But we still have a chance. Oh, got one. Speak of the devil. So all I wanted to do is just get one. Oh, we didn't get him yet. Pretty sure that they've reduced the effectiveness of bombers. If you're wondering why these bombers are not doing as well, it's actually because the bombers used to be just horribly overpowered. And they have uh, changed it a bit. And for good reason. I'm not complaining. I think it was a good decision. Now that one's on the ground. No, not quite. They're really dealing the most damage to this guy. 
And now that one's gone. So let's proceed. And this guy should really flip as well. So that he can fire better. That guy still has a gun operational, unfortunately. But we do have or don't have. Can't remember. We have. Let me pause real fast. Do we have water in this? Can't see because of the fire. I believe we do. Oh, we don't. Okay, time to flee. <laughs> okay. So it's a feat, but that's fine. Move back. Oh no! It's. It's gone! We actually lost that bombardier outright. That's impossible. What? Oh god. I didn't want to fight that, I wanted to pretend. But I forgot. Let's move here. Actually, let's move here. Okay, so we <laughs> just kind of messed up a few things very quickly all in a row. Um, well, we have money. And we can get a new thing. Should we get a new bombardier? Well, they weren't that great. Maybe the cannoneers would be better against this foe. It's tough to say. I guess if we had enough cannoneers, they would be. For the same reason that theirs are effective against bombers. God, it really sucks that we lost a bomber, though. Okay, well, let's just make sure I have three at all these vital defensive locations. We can always, always come back and scrap them. These are going to have hopefully just one. That's fine. And you have none. I'm just going to get one. I know it's might be might be over protective, but that's just the Tortuga way. And a lot of these ones deserve stuff, but you know what? They're just not going to get it. I think I'm going to leave one there. Um, I plan on just using that one defensive design for the rest of the game, if in case you're wondering. So we want to take stints of actually get there. Yeah, you're on your way back. You are going to be able to get to Arctum. No problem. Okay, looks fine here. We should go and push the advantage though. All right, so this is either going to be an instant defeat, uh, victory I should say, or uh, Nope, they're gonna fight it. Okay. Go ahead and move in. Looks like it's dusk, so we have the advantage. Get this guy to go in and take the rest out. We're kind of covering this guy's advance, really, knowing that he's gonna eventually take a lot more of the hits. But since he's gonna be taking the hits up and close, we might as well just go in and get close and get dirty. They aren't going to be firing at us even when we get close. And this is probably going to be over very quickly. No longer should we be aiming carefully. Even closer. Get him on. Perfect. We'll pillage that. And that is a good pillage. Jeez. So... Can you... Yeah, which one's closer? Err, 50 one way, half, or 6 one way, half dozen the other, as the expression goes. I think we have time to invade Dagger Guild as well. And we're back up on the money. Okay, good to see that guy getting the heck out of here. What do we have here? We have one bombardier. Okay, so what if we went with. Got these high-pressure subsonium tanks. Why don't we just look? Just take a look at what would happen if we designed a better bomber. So, what happens if we were to get rid of those and provide our lift by another means? Suspendium dust particles repel one another, but they can be pressurized to make a more efficient low-maintenance source of lift. One that tends to explode violently when damaged. <laughs> so I think what they're trying to hint at here is... It's not necessarily advisable to use this. But 900 lift in a very, very small amount of space. 
70 hit points versus 480. My god. So let's do the overlays, hit points. Let's take a look at what would be needed to do this instead. So this is 679. Let's see what happens. 679, it was in red though. And now this has, okay, service ceiling. It's extremely expensive. You can see its cost has gone up significantly. Um, and the service ceiling has gone up to 673. Let's undo everything. Just kind of memorize this, 1052. Well, I guess we can just open the design again. We have 1052 and 273, 61. Versus 1072, 61, 273. So a little bit slower, higher service ceiling, and like 50% the cost. I don't think it's worth it. I just frankly don't think it's worth it. I think that what we would want for these pressurized suspendium dust tanks, I don't know if I've ever used them now, come to think about it. I've probably always used these rather economical large dust tanks. <laughs> so we will not be building this. In fact, I'm kind of disappointed with that technology in general. So we'll have to wait for the siege. Well, we almost have it. And you know what? It's going to be a blast to roll out the siege uh, land ships. Maybe a real blast. Now you have to invade. It's going to work out perfect. We have some ship. Oh, yeah, only one. In the meantime, what are we going to do? I guess we build one more bombardier. And we can almost get a cannoneer. We'll probably just wait for the land ship. Okay, so this is going to be ours quickly. Same thing. Okay, start. And are they going to... Yeah, surrender. Hooray! Good, so we'll pillage this as well, even though probably we should start thinking about not pillaging everything in sight. That day will come eventually. So these guys have actually been so successful, they pushed way up there, and that's why having them fight up there has been what kept us safe. Good, so we got the defenses going. Let's just build a second building here, now that we're actually in the mood to defend it. Okay, I think I've missed that one, but whatever. Kastovich has three, okay, so that's fine. Olkoma has three, everything else has three, and Tortuga has five, although some really crappy ones, but that's fine. I don't think the AI really counts that. Basically, just look at how many you have. One only has two, but I, I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, I really do wanna be able to fight better. Getting to the point where we might be able to start scrapping some of these ones. Ah, I just got to take care of Wilton. And we can, I, you know what, we just need to do economic raids over here. Let's make sure we go do that. So as soon as we're done over here, in fact, in the meantime, I think this one bombardier is going to be capable of doing some invasions. So let's try to take Lonlin by faking through Fog Castle. See how they react to that. Uh, we'll move to Voltvale. I think that these guys are significantly faster, so we'll we'll wait there. We're pillaging. Good. We're making a lot of money. Things are stabilizing. I can feel the... Uh... Oh, excellent. So we got it. Just when I talk about money, we have uh, something we can spend our reserves on. I'm wondering if a rocket wouldn't be that bad. Telescopes wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. I don't remember what turrets... How effective they are. Mm. That's right. Pri uh, previously, I was talking about getting the Imperial Cannon. And this will probably work very well. I mean, the, the two things I really like are the large Suspendium... Oh, no, sorry. The Suspendium Cannon, which is hilarious. It does require coal and um, ammunition to fire, which is a bit annoying. But, I mean, that's what you get for endgame type stuff. But the Imperial Cannon, I don't... I think... Well, let's just research it, and then we'll find out what it does for ourselves. Best way of doing that. So we'll combine this fleet, we'll go take Steinex, hopefully. We could be stymied. Might meet a tragic end in our attempt. Get this guy to invade. Let's move here and then invade Gol Golanak. 
And we'll take Zernoglesh on the way. Again, just trying to chop up this empire while they're off invading territory they probably will be able to take, which is you know, a little bit problematic. Looks like, ah, they've revolted, good, good. Okay, so that, we need to immediately to go take the Longland. Oh my, okay, so this will be interesting. Let's get you right up front and center. And you will stay back, but you will eventually be in the front. So our goal here, what do we have? We have just two, it's just two, so we're just gonna march through them piecemeal. Oh, oh, okay, so we have the Grand Garrison, which really does look imposing. But once we break through her, and thank God she's first, it just works out in our favor, I think. Um, so we'll just pl plow through her, and then we have lightning, but th thankfully the storms are gonna put out fires, and that's one of my ship's weaknesses. They don't have water. So, go here. Begin your engagement. And moving forward. Forward march. Um, can you move forward just a pinch more? Yes, good. And now since everyone's going after them, you might as well move forward as well. Actually, we might be able to get above their cannon, and it'd be worth it even if he can't fire at them, if they can't fire at him. They can. I think we can go up even higher and avoid that entirely. Yeah, okay, good. I, are they, is this one firing? I don't think so. Yeah, we, we, that was successful. That was a good good little thing we did there. Good move. Oh god, the lightning. It's so horrible. Please. So this thing just has to move forward. It has to start absorbing more fire. Let's aim fire since we're running out of ammunition on all these guys. We might have to, you know, just make two passes at this. Are you out of ammunition? You're not. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Forward. Move in. I still think we can get this. Man, it's so weird how they just did not destroy that one thing, which we really would have liked them to destroy. <laughs> Boy, ammo's really going down quick. Alright, so we're going to destroy what we can, and then we're going to flee and walk we'll back, which is annoying, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh god, that's bad. I think we just lost all that. We might still brave coming back. Tell this guy to fire on that. If you can break that, I will feel comfortable coming back immediately. Actually, we're out of ammo. This guy's not, though. So, climb to the sky. Oh, God! Alright, well, there's that. <laughs> okay. I think we'll still be okay. Get them to move. Pause, because this guy, I remembered, is in a good position to do that. Um, wow, well, how's our damage here? I think we can just go right back. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, this is no problems. Get above him, which is something like this, and we're good. In fact, he has a cannon, poor fool. He's not going to be able to do anything. Bring her down. Low enough. Oh, yeah, this is the one thing I didn't want to do. Is not too low that we actually limit our number of bombs we can drop. But... There it is. That's a win. That's a win. We will. We'll, I think we will. Well, might we hold it? We might. 
Let's do a general takeover. Oh, this one's going to Hatwick. You're going to Hatwick? Well, we'll be there in time. In fact, I can just wait for him. And Hatwick has three. That's very brave of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely okay with that. Bring it on, basically. Let's try to end that. Let's try to end that. What the hell is this? Let's just... Oh, no, no, no. Repair. I'm fine if you repair in the ground, although it's a little weird. If you ask me. Oh, Dark Philbane. This place, yeah, does not have anything. Okay, scrap this. And build a building. My god. Yeah, you definitely need something. Okay, now what I want to do is design a land ship. And where should we build it? Huge shipyard there. Large. Large. So the huge shipyard, probably. Even though it's... Actually, the land the ship, we might as well put it in Oddbury because it'll be closer to the front. So design land ship. Now, I'm not very good with land ship. I'm not very good with airships, but maybe slightly worse with land ships. Um, we'll call this the... A gun ship that doesn't that's a real thing you can't be a gunship the land gun ship a gun land ship no land gun ship I believe that small tracks are simply better and we'll probably put two of them on I can't remember if we I might let's just stick with one for now and let's see what kind of weapons how, how it will work. Yeah, so obviously we're going to want cannons on this thing. I actually need to see the pathing. Is it like this connected? I don't know. Can we get two cannons on this? Let's try ammunition right behind that. Big old thing of ammo. And this thing probably needs coal. Yeah. Some coal in the back. No, we want the coal to wait a second. So we have to... How do you get to these tracks? I thought that you actually have to get to them. Does that mean we need a quarter with ladder to get to them? Is that how you do it? You do it like this. I see. That's how we do it. Okay, good. Then at least I figured it out. And ammo. And now some crew quarters. And on top of the crew quarters. No, that doesn't work. A bridge. <laughs> oh, we need some supply as well. Hey, well, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Do I want a water point? Nah, you know, just you're screwed if you catch on fire. We need fire extinguishers. Speaking of things, I need. I think the front's a little bit heavy, so I'm gonna. Weight the back a little bit more. Put that down there, even. Actually, I like it better up here. Okay, so we need a bridge. There might be a way we can do this. Okay, let's put that there. This back. Alright, now the one thing that's unfortunate that I wasn't able to fit, so I'll probably have to do some some maneuvering, some more maneuvering. So I really will want And this is kind of bizarre, right? 240. <laughs> what the hell did this can't be real? <laughs> this cannot be real. It seems like way too good to be true. Okay, how much coal do we have? What we're gonna use what? How much does this module use? One coal every 30 seconds. My goodness, we have 25 minutes worth of track in this. All right, let's look at the hit points. Not good. It's functional though. It's very 
not good, but very functional. Yeah, the, I do think that it would be nice to get a fire point on here. The thing I would like to add is, besides these two, because look, at this obviously is going to have a real hard time hitting anything which is up. By the way, we don't need two crew. There we go. Ah, oh, gosh, that's just that simple. We have 12 crew. It recommends 11. Perfect. So let's do this, this, quarter with ladder, and look out. Perfect. And this guy can go back over here. All right. Well, what do you know? <laughs> it only has eight maintenance. It only costs 500. It shoots two cannons. It has 100 ammo. I don't know, it's it's actually seems uh, surprisingly somehow too good. Can I add a keel? Please tell me yes. What? I can? Okay. <laughs> I'd rather add it to the back though. Even though that's going to make things awkward. Let's go to hit points. Does it work, though? It does. This is weird. Well, we could take everything down a level, then. I guess... I mean, we're going to have that extra space anyway, right? Bridge. There. Um, this over here. That there. And this thing is just ugly as sin. Once upon a time, somebody was telling me, please not, don't make your design so ugly. Well, don't, just avert your eyes. Just don't even look. It's, it's functional. <laughs> I don't know. Though. I don't know. Uh, it's so ugly. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to try it. Okay, I need to manage my files and uh, dump some of these things in. Let's move Testudo triple A, which is triple A if you get it. <laughs> but it's triple meh should be. Um, we need a new folder. Damn it. Cancel new folder first. Storage, I guess I'm calling them. Which is almost storage. Okay, and let's do that again. Move, move, move. Into storage. And now let's call this land gunship. Save. I don't think it's going to work. I think that this won't be able to do anything with terrain. That's my guess. It's not going to function. However... <laughs> oh, the, ah, that's right. Fire point. But if I do fire point, then I'm going to need... Okay, the bridge needs three crew. What if we just do... Can we get away with... Let's... Put this up here. This here. Um, what if we do, instead of a bridge, we do a, like, what is it called? Cockpit. 11 seconds. No, you know what? I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. We're going to stick with this. It's, it just doesn't, I don't think it's something about this. It's just not right. Now we could put stone wall on this. It slows it down to 190. <laughs> well, we could put stone wall wherever we want. I guess we don't need stone wall. We'll just take steel there. Um, we'll take steel here and here and here. Okay, let's just fill. Let me do it the other way. Let's fill fill it with steel wall. And then manually add stone wall where I want it, which is kind of like right here. Too heavy. Okay, well then just just make it all wooden again, I guess. Well, st uh, yeah, wooden. Slightly better stats, I think. Okay, so just save it as is. Let's get going. I I just have to say I'm not not really confident this thing is going to be amazing, but. Here we go, land gunship. 
As stupid as the name sounds, we'll see if it works out. I probably should wait and just give you guys a chance to tell me how terrible that design is. I kind of know better, but that's okay. Anyway, in the meantime, we will go back and invade again. Just keep that song and dance up until we take it. I think we will. Well, two defenses there, that's good. Okay. So, yeah, this is... Oh! Uh, what? That wasn't there before. Very impressive. They were able to very quickly patch that back together. Well, let's see if we can do it again. Shots moving from left to right are less accurate, so we're just going to go behind it. Which makes sense. So just go flip. Flip around and do that. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to... Actually, I should have moved up. Just go and flip. Charge. Just charge in. I think this is going to win us the day, too. Okay. Got him. Yeah, that's going to be a real problem for them. Slow this down, speed down a little bit. This will probably be our last battle, too. Excuse me. Finally moving my mic forward a little bit. Certainly looks good. So it looks like we're going to have an easy time with this one. Let's not spend too much time on the Rex, but I don't want this guy to get shot as he moves forward. Not too much, at least. We'll be shot somewhat. And we're already down on ammo, so let's... Try to be careful about ammo usage. Go to aim fire with you. Okay, looks like we're going to succeed. They're both on ammo, uh, aim fire, but I don't want them to start battles that way, so we're going to just now speed them back up to normal fire. Perfect, just in time. And there's a victory. Now, we expect to keep this one, so let's do a gentle takeover. Wow, fantastic. And we're still being evaded? I mean, this is almost a good thing. I think we're going to be able to win that fight. We're going to have a land gunship to help, <laughs> which probably shouldn't help. Uh... Are you... Is there, is there any damage to these guys? They look fine. One of them should be completely okay, but... Okay. We have enough time maybe even to add... No, I mean, we have three there. That's fine. That's enough. The only ones that need it more are places like this. Build a building. You need some help. Good. Keep building stuff there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way things have gone in this episode. Boy, we've really... I think we're really pulling ourselves out. Out of our little mess. And they have backed off now. They don't even want to go at the two airships there. And there's our land ship, so... I really want to take him into battle. <laughs> he has to move very, like, piecemeal. Oh, we can attack the turtle doves. That doesn't seem like a good idea with a thing which you can't really shoot up. Let's move him here. It's just going to zip along. I mean, look at this incredible speed. Okay, move forward more. Ready? We're going to move here. They have to move, unfortunately. I should have done these things separate. There we go. What the heck? Uh, there's a little buggy. But, okay, we'll get them into action in the beginning of the next episode. We'll just have to wait. I really wanted to try to do it this episode. We already know it's going to be a horrible disaster. So, until then, until the next one, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you for the next one. Until then, take care.